Hey guys, and welcome to this guide on all my settings for fraps, the project settings for Sony Vegas and the render settings for Sony Vegas. This is primarily made for people that run their games in 1920 times 1080, also known as 1080p. If you run any other resolution, you have to change the settings on your own. So then this guide just becomes kind of like a guideline for you guys to use to improve your quality on your videos. The old guide I had has been removed. So yeah, because that one's completely outdated by now. I've learned so much more about how to do these settings and improve your quality on your videos. So, but yeah, let's get started with the whole thing. Uh, in Fraps, under the general tab, the most important thing to note here is monitor error desktop, DWM. Only, only, only enable this if you absolutely have to, like when you record your desktop or an, a, the, a, your internet or whatever, something like that, right? Um, because you don't need to have this enabled whilst you're recording an FPS game or WoW or something like that. So if you don't need it, don't enable it, especially if you don't have a high-end PC because that could easily steal away frames per seconds for you and make your recordings not smooth. So never never check this one unless you have to. There's like games like Bloodline Champions, for example. You have to run that game in windowed full screen and have monitor error, um, monitor error desktop enabled to actually be able to record the game with fraps. Otherwise it won't recognize the game at all. Uh, but other than that, just leave this one unchecked. Just before we go to the FPS tab, uh, I have display status on LCD enabled because I have a Logitech G15, which actually shows my FPS on a little monitor on my on my keyboard. Uh, so I don't need to use any settings in the FPS. Uh, so that's why that's enabled here. But under FPS, like I said, I don't, I'm hiding my overlay, but this would pretty much just be where your FPS overlay is gonna be whilst recording. But mine's set to, uh, to hide overlay. This next tab, movie tab, that's the most important, most important tab yeah, you're gonna be messing around with. Like you can see here, I'm recording to my D drive. This is very, very important. Record to an extra internal hard drive, preferably a SATA 3 hard drive, okay? SATA 2 might work, I don't know. But I, I have set a, uh, a set of three drive in and um, the faster the drive, the better. If you're recording to an external drive, I, I'd suggest you get a USB 3.0. If you have a USB 2.0, check if it says high speed on it. If not, and you want to invest in a new hard, hard drive, external hard drive, make sure that you either buy the USB 3.0 or if you buy a USB 2.0 that it's high speed. Even with high speed, you might experience some lag issues or FPS um, drop it, uh, drops on the, uh, on the recordings. So just keep that in mind as well. So I use my, uh, the extra internal hard drive because that's just awesome for me. It works completely awesome. Um, but yeah, make sure you do that. Never ever record to your C drive. Um, this one's just my hotkey for, well, the button I push for recording. This is very, very important guys, 29.97. Very, very important because these are the settings you use in Sony Vegas. This is the FPS that you're working with in your project settings in Sony Vegas and what you're rendering to as well. So you want this. And I know there's a lot of guys like, well, I can fraps in 60 FPS. Yeah, so can I, but I never do because I've, I'm gonna show this in another tutorial. I don't wanna go into details about it here. Just choose 29.97. Full screen, very, very important, guys. If you have screen it, that pretty much means it just halfens all your pixels. So that would be, you know, 1920 divided by two and 1080 divided by two. So if you wanna render that up to 1080p, that's gonna look really pixelated and ugly. So you don't wanna do that. Put it into full size. This record Windows 7 sounds, that records all your gameplay sound. And if you have like Windows Media uh, Player playing music or have a Skype conversation, that will be recorded as well. So keep that in mind. And then you can enable your uh, microphone if you want that recorded. 
I have lock frame rate while recording enabled because, um, well, I've experienced when I set it to these settings here that it it shows as being recorded uh, as it's recording in 60 FPS anyways, uh, which is kind of dumb. And sometimes it actually does record in 60 uh, FPS. So yeah, just lock the frame rate. Uh, you can hide the mouse cursor if you want. Force lossless RGB capture. I tested this again since I'm running on a really, really powerful PC. It didn't even do anything for me. It didn't drop my FPS it, and uh, I didn't see any increase in my quality at all. So just leave this unchecked. But yeah, most important thing, record to anything but your C drive. Never record to the C drive. So record to an uh, extra internal drive, preferably SATA 3 drive or external drive, preferably a USB 3.0. 29.97 FPS and full screen. The screenshots, I never use that. So yeah, these are the settings, guys. These are the settings. Let's uh, get to the project settings and render settings in Sony Vegas. In Sony Vegas, we're gonna look at the uh, property, uh, the project settings, sorry, project settings. So you go up and click, I'm just gonna cancel this. File new, okay. What you want to do is you want to use this drop down box here and choose the one called HD 1080 60i. Uh, that doesn't really matter. What you're going to look at is this right here 1920 times 1080. That's what you're recording the video in, also, or playing the game in, and also you're recording in 29.97. FPS. So this is what you want to choose. This is the uh, the template you want to choose. So check that. Don't mess around with anything up here. This one, leave that at 8-bit. Set this one. Normally it's set to good for some. Yeah, for some. So just set that to best. Leave this one on Ga uh, Gaussian and on none for the, um, the interlaced method. Just set to none. What you can do is you can set uh, mark and start all new projects with these settings. That way, the next time you go to file and uh, click new, you'll just get these settings, all these settings by itself. Only thing you need to do is click OK and you're good to go. I'm going to cancel that since I've already loaded a project up with these exact settings. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the render settings and how to create a template that you guys, so you don't have to do all these settings all over again. That's why you want to leave a mark in in here as well down here. So you don't have to mess around with your settings every time you want to make a new project or render uh, a new video. So uh, I'm just going to quickly get some kind of footage in here. I'm just going to get some solid color in here. Bam, there we go. What I normally do when I render my stuff is I, I use loop regions. The way you do that is click below any track you have. Just double click. Bam. So you got these yellow markers here. That is the loop region. I click at the end. Zoom a little bit in, and then I pull this one like two. See, each time it moves, that's one frame. I normally move it two frames extra behind the end because sometimes when you render, it cuts off a frame or two. And if you have a, like a really dramatic outro or some some stuff like that, you don't want it to cut off anything. What I do then afterwards, I go back to the beginning by clicking down here and scroll all the way in. I've had a few times where this marker was actually pushed in. So just make sure that that's all the way at the beginning. Scroll all the way out again. You, you zoom in and out by using the scroll wheel on your mouse while your mouse cursor is down here. Okay, so let's see, we have the loop region. We Let's just pretend that this was the entire video that we wanted to render. Now we're gonna look at render settings and setting up that profile for you guys. So go up, click file, render as, and here you get a ton of options. I have the, uh, these three things uh, marked. Render loop region only, stretch video to fill output frame size, do not letterbox, uh, save project markers in media file. Okay, I have these three enabled. Like, and then, well, this is just the name of the file that you wanna, what you wanna call your video. Um, save as type, click that. See here you get presented with a ton of formats that you can render your video as. Many people use main concept AVC uh, slash AAC, uh, that's MP4 format. I don't like using this because it darkens the videos, meaning you have to use color correction and stuff like that on your video. And that's just, nah, I don't like it at all. Another thing is 
that I've experienced getting pixelation when I use this. So I stay, to, stay as far away from this as possible. What I do instead is I, I choose Windows Media Video. Mine says V11, version 11. Uh, depending on what operating system you're running on, it could say V9. Doesn't matter, just choose the Windows Media Video. Click on that. Now, then you go to the template and uh, click the drop down here. See, I already have some templates down here. You won't have any unless you've made some, but just choose the bottom one that says eight MPS or megabytes per second. Uh, click on that and go to custom over here. There's this little button called custom, click on that, okay? In here, you have all these tabs down here. Audio, you don't wanna mess with that, just leave that alone. Video, video smoothness. Crank that all the way up, baby, all the way up. You want it to be as sharp as possible, right? These first two drop downs up here, leave those alone. But the third one, image size, click that, go to custom, okay? Click on custom, change the width to 1920. Change the pixel aspect ratio to square, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna look really weird when you render it. Trust me, I, I actually tried that. I did that mistake once. Um, for those guys that already know about, you know, how to do certain things uh, with rendering, there used to be a bug on YouTube, on YouTube's end actually, where we had to change the, the height to uh, 1072 because otherwise the videos got some pixelation and stuff like that on them. But they've changed that. They've changed their codecs. So now we just set it to 1080. So just leave that one alone because that's what it had as default. So now we're done in here in the videos tab, go to bitrate, which is very, very important. If you have any lag when on, on your videos when you render them and stuff like that, this is why the, the bitrate sec section. There's a space between the number and M. So what I normally do is just click at the beginning here, push my delete button on the keyboard and change, type in 16. Now what this does is it increases the quality on your video a ton, a ton, and it won't become laggy at all. This is really, really good, especially for PVP videos like World of Warcraft videos where there's high paced fighting and a lot of movement going on. So yeah, 16M, but th this comes at a cost though. The file size is gonna increase immensely, meaning that your um, your videos will become really, really big and it will take a lot longer to upload, but the quality will increase a ton. So just keep that in mind, okay? So just change that to, uh, to 16M and you will get really, really good quality videos. Uh, index has nothing to do with the actual video, so just leave that alone. Project, we don't use stereoscopic uh, 3D mode, so just leave that alone, but the video render quality, change that to best, okay? Before you click okay at the bottom here, uh, don't click that yet, you wanna change up here at the top, just click it once and it marks the whole thing with blue, and then type something like uh, YouTube uh, 1080p, okay? YouTube 1080p and click the save button, uh, I don't have to since I already have these templates and then, yeah, it's gonna show up in here. A little tip I'm gonna give you here before I end the video is that you can go here to uh, view before, before you render the video and video preview, disable that. See, the window just disappeared over here. If you do that and you're not running on a really fast PC, that can actually um, make the render time faster, which is awesome. So yeah, that's a little tip I can give you there. Uh, other than that, guys, leave me a video response with your videos, with these settings, and I'll accept everything, meaning you get more views, I get more views, everyone wins, and you just got all these settings that you can use, which are awesome. So yeah, leave me a video response with these settings use, uh, in, in use, and um, I'll accept every one of them, okay? But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and that you can use this. So take care, have fun, see you in the next one.